Hello everybody, it's Lauren from Firehost Games back with another weekly update for Tectonica. This week, exciting news, we have launched the public test cave. So version 0.4 is live right now on PTC for y'all to try out and play. We are gonna talk a little bit about what is in the version 0.4 on the test cave and a little bit of housekeeping as well. So first off, housekeeping. Um, please don't spoil stuff that's in public test cave without like giving people a warning. If you wanna stream it or post videos of it and stuff like that, just give people a warning. Hey, this is the public test cave. There is a warning that will show up on the screen when you are playing. Um, we just don't wanna spoil stuff for people that don't want spoilers. So be nice to your fellow gamers um, and do that. Uh, if you wanna talk about it in our Discord, we have a separate channel in our Discord for the public test cave. On Steam, we have a sub forum as well. So there are places for y'all to chat about it with other fans. Just, it's nice to not spoil things for people, you know? Um, to moving on, let's talk uh, a little bit about what's coming uh, because there is so much exciting stuff that's in 0.4, not coming, that's here now for you to play. So we're gonna get into, I, you could call it spoilers, they're not really spoilers. We're just gonna talk about what's in 0.4. Um, these patch notes are not gonna be as exhaustive as our normal patch preview or patch notes are for releases. Um, we're not gonna give you literally everything, all the information, so we don't spoil it for everyone. So know that I'm not gonna talk about everything in this video. I'm gonna talk about most stuff, but I'm not gonna talk about every single thing that's coming. We're just gonna do the highlights. So first we're gonna talk about the new maps that are coming in 0.4 that are available to play right now on the public test cave. The first one is going to be the Faithless Void. That is kind of a reskin of the existing river biome. The little, there are some tweaks in there that you'll see when you're playing it, but the biggest difference is that the lights are off. So it looks, it just looks really magical. Uh, the top of the caves almost look like the night sky and I think it just looks really rad. Um, let, me, let us know what you think. It, I think it just looks really cool. And I think it, it almost feels like you're playing a completely different map. I know navigating the caves in the dark is just like a very different experience. Um, and the other map is the Mountain King Underhill map. It has this massive cavern in the middle that just looks so magical. Um, you'll see the PTs are a little bit different here. So we don't have the same buildings. It's just these kind of like um, drop potty looking uh, production terminals that you will use to upgrade. Um, there are no scans in this map. There are no quests. You are just going to upgrade the terminals in different locations you will need to find them on your own. So get ready to do some exploring. Uh, it is really fun to explore this map and find all of the different tunnels and caverns, etc. It It is, it, it feels like a new game. It is, is really fun. So I think y'all are gonna enjoy it. So now we're gonna talk about game modes. So along with these 80 plus settings that we have for you to adjust, we've boiled them down to six game modes that you can like have some easy settings. And I'm going to read off the list of these game modes and we'll talk a little bit about them. So there's easy mode, sandbox mode, hardcore mode, quantity, quality, and hyper mode. So easy mode is what it says, everything's just a little bit easier. Um, costs are down, machines work a little better. Uh, it's just a much quicker game to play. I believe Andre said that he was able to like get pretty far down the tech tree in just six to seven hours. So it makes Tectonica just a much faster experience. Next is sandbox mode. This is a full creative mode. All handcrafting is free. So while your machines will still need resources when you're using machines and you're using power, etc., when you are handcrafting, that is completely free. So it's just a creative mode to build. Um, you can make some really, really wild stuff uh, in creative mode and it's really fun. Um, it definitely is a very enjoyable gaming experience, that's for sure. Next is hardcore mode. This is, like I said in the last video, the Dark Souls of factory games. It is very difficult. You will not be unlocking everything on your tech tree. You will be boiling it down to what is the most important to specialize in. It uh, It is a challenge. It is a challenge. I mean, it, it is gonna make your, like I'm very curious to see if y'all like it. I think it is fun, but it makes it an actual difficult, like every choice matters game. Everything you craft matters. You know, it's important to get assemblers really soon because then you could double what you're producing. Hardcore mode just adds a really new level of difficulty to the game that's really fun. Next, we have quantity and quality. Quantity is just that you're gonna build a lot of machines in this one. And quality is gonna be that you have fewer machines that do more. So it just lets you have like different vibes in your factories. Do you want to have this massive bus with hundreds and hundreds of assemblers? Or do you wanna have five assemblers? Well, not five, you're gonna produce more than five things, but you'll have less assemblers and stuff. 
And lastly, there is hyper mode. Hyper mode is like everything's cranked to a zillion. So like machines are gonna run fast, drills are gonna run fast, like everything's gonna produce really quickly. It's kind of wild to play, um, but just imagine everything is in hyperspeed and it's really fun. So along with these game modes, we also have 80 plus settings. I'm gonna quickly scroll through some so you can look at them. They are a little bit organized, but there are so many different ways to customize your gameplay. Uh, you can really make Tectonica what you want it now, which I think is really amazing. It is really cool to be able to just tweak, you know, exactly what you want out of Tectonica. So you wanna turn off or vein depletion, you can turn off. You can turn on big head mode. You can turn on cat sounds and the machines will all meow at you. There are just so many ways to customize it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show a little clip. We'll do a little, little clippy clip of cat sounds just so you can see how ridiculous it is. All right, and now let's talk about some new tweaks to the game and new things added. So first off is the incineration functions like I talked about earlier. So in a regular smelter, you'll be able to smelt, let me look at my list. You can smelt um, quicklime, carbon, and limestone, uh, some basic resources, and turn it into carbon powder. And then in the Mark II smelters, you can pretty much incinerate anything that you built. So base building pieces, you know, the mole if you built extra moles, um, you know, floors, walls, machines, anything that you've built, you can now destroy. So that's like a little something, something there. I know people have talked about how they have like, you know, 100,000 power floors they built for base building. You can get rid of those now. So that is a really handy feature that we have added into Tectonica. And then we've also done some recipe and balance tweaks to things. I'm gonna read these off my list so I don't get them wrong, but know there are a few new things that are gonna be in 0.4 PTC right now. So there are, we've added some alt recipes to things. The new game tutorialization has changed. A big one that we've changed is that when you're running around the world and collecting plants like Kindle Vine and Shiverthorn, you won't get seeds anymore. You'll get the plant itself. So it kind of is a workaround to encourage players to use threshers first instead of planters. Um, so please note that that is a change that is incoming. It should make the first time player experience a little bit better. It makes tutorialization a little bit better, but it is kind of a bigger tweak that some people might not be recognizing. So it's not a bug. You are not going to get seeds from those anymore. You are encouraged to use threshers first. And then the vertical belt upgrades are now going to be added in. You will see those on the tech tree. And we also have added the bio brick diesel and new condensed bio brick recipes. So those are also going to be in your tech tree. So keep an eye out, just some new fuel for you to use. So that is what I have for you. Um, there will be some known issues listed in the patch notes as well. I'm not going to go over them here, um, but I am excited for everyone to try out PTC. Please remember that if you have feedback or bugs that you want to report that you've seen, please use the website. I will link it in the caption here. Please use our feedback website for that. We have a special one for PTC. Please do not clog up the regular one with PTC bugs because it will get very confusing for our team and for other players. So please use that board if you'd like it. It has a lovely public test cave logo made by Rob. Uh, you can also check previous videos on how to write up a bug report and how to properly discuss that and make sure that our team has the most information that we can get. Uh, we really appreciate your support on this. I hope you guys enjoy getting a sneak peek at 0.4. Uh, let us know what you think and especially let us know what you think about the maps. Um, we have lots of other maps we would love to create. So let us know what you think about them. If you like them, if you don't, what you wish you could see in a map, please let us know below in the comments. And with that, I will see you in two weeks for the next update. So thank you all so much for your support. We over at Firehose really, really appreciate it. Have a good one and enjoy 0.4 PTC. Bye-bye.